So Unreal Engine 5.1.0 preview is finally out, along with tons of updates and fixes. There's one particular new feature that I'm most excited about, being the camera and lens nerd that I am. And that is the new built-in anamorphic camera. I'll show you how to achieve the anamorphic look in Unreal Engine using the now built-in functions, as well as a custom flare texture that I've made using a real anamorphic lens. I'll leave a Google Drive link for the texture in the description. You can use it however you like. I'm going to assume that you've already downloaded the new version of the engine. If you haven't, you can do that in the Epic Games launcher. Okay, so first of all, we're going to make a new project using the third person template. I'll name my anamorphic tutorial. We actually don't need ray tracing actually. So create. Okay, so here is just a default third person template project. In here, I'm just going to delete this wall and bring in a sphere. And we'll make a new material for the sphere. Make a new folder called material. And then right click and material. We'll make it, we'll say M immersive and enter to open the material we'll go hold v and left click for a vector we'll call this color and then hold m left click for a multiply hold s and left click for a scalar and we'll call this intensity link that to there and that to there We'll link this to emissive color and for the intensity default value, we'll do about 20 and for the color can be whatever you want, really. Uh, just make sure um, this value is all the way up to white. Let's say default value to 50 and then apply save and because i want to have different colors i'm going to right click and create material instance and drag that to this sphere i'm going to duplicate this sphere and then control d to duplicate this instance and we'll double click to open the instance and change the color And we'll maybe do another one. Okay, so so I'm going to place these in the distance so they simulate light coming from a distance. Maybe some street lights, or whatever. Doesn't really matter how you place them. This is just to visualize the bokeh or out of focus elements that become oval with an anamorphic lens. I'll go control L to change the direction of the sunlight, whatever you feel like. And then I'll place a uh, third person character over here on the ground. So go to your content browser, control space, then go to content, search for third person. And we'll drag this blueprint, this person blueprint over here. Now that we have lights in the distance, and a person in the foreground, we can play with the new animal for camera. So what you want to do is go to place actors, and then go to cinematic and center camera actor. So it's using the same center camera actor, but has um, new functions built into it. So place this over here and then go to your camera component. And for the film back setting, just to exaggerate the animal effect, we'll use a very big sensor size. So go to IMAX 17 mil. Now, if you go to the lens setting drop down menu, there's a new 
parameter called squeeze factor. We'll slide this all the way up to two, which is the default squeeze factor for most Hollywood anamorphic lenses. And you can see that um, the sensor has essentially doubled in width. So we can pilot this camera by selecting the center camera actor in your outliner and then go to pilot. Um, you can see that it doesn't look very anamorphic at the moment in your focus settings. Let's change the focal length to 50 and then current aperture to 1.2. And it will change the manual focus distance to the third person character. And now you can see the bokeh or the spheres in the background are not spheres anymore, but they are oval. The further they are, the more oval they become. So yeah, so that's your that's really your animal for camera there, but you can go a step further from here and add a flare. So go to your post process volume, type flare and check the intensity. And you can see these flares are not very anamorphic looking. They are in fact, um, spherical flares that are the default in Unreal Engine. So these are not the flares that you want if you want a true anamorphic look. So turn that off. So in order to achieve a anamorphic flare, you need to use the bloom. So check the method and convolution. So the only way to use a custom texture or a custom kernel for the bloom Layer is by using the convolution bloom. So it, it's a little bit heavy on your system. So beware, be very um, careful when you're using this, but I'll show you anyway. So check the intensity, switch uh, convolution, scalar dispersion and convolution kernel. So by default, when it says none, it's actually using a custom default kernel that Unreal Engine has, which is, which is this one. If you turn the alpha off, you can see the custom texture that it has. And this one is also spherical. It's not very anamorphic, even though some anamorphic lenses have this kind of flare. So the only way to get an anamorphic flare is to use a custom texture. I've already made a custom texture for this. Yeah, you can download and use this if you want, or you can make your own one. So basically what I did to make the custom texture was to shoot a flashlight in a dark room with a real anamorphic lens, which looks like this. Then I de-squeezed the image by two as that's the squeeze factor on my lenses. That was the easy part. Then I found out that the flare textures had to be in 32-bit. Let me tell you, editing images in 32-bit is a pain in the ass. And it took me some hours to get my head around it. Wasn't the normal Photoshop job I was expecting. Anyway, so I'm going to go to my content browser, make a new folder called texture. And I will import the texture I've made. So this is the anamorphic flare texture I've made. Essentially my cell phone flashlight with the anamorphic projection lens. So when you first import this, it's really important that you change some settings. So you have to go to MIP generation settings. It's turned on by default, but you have to turn it off. So you have to set it to no map maps. And also if you go to advanced, you have to turn on never stream. This is because Unreal Engine uses level of detail or map map textures by default. 
and you don't really want that for the flares and we'll save this and turn it off so now go back to your post process volume and search for T anamorphic which is the one we imported and now you can see it's really intense you can control the intensity to whatever you want but let's just go with 0 0.05 maybe well it's still a bit much but we'll leave it there for now 0 0.08 and then down here you can play around with these settings but i won't go into too much detail about these um it was fine for me to leave these at default and just play around with the intensity so when you go to go back to your camera and camera component and change the focus around you can see the flare changes with the focus as well so convolution bloom in itself is quite heavy so use at your own peril but this is what you can achieve in the engine with no plugins and with a, just a custom texture so I hope that helps. I'm really looking forward to using this in a real project as soon as the official version is out. But until then, it will be fun to play around with anyway. Thank you for watching. Cheers. Bye.